Everybody down, everybody down, yep. down, down. Yeah, Jeff, here comes the uh, uh, attorney Mike. This is the first step in a process. This is the first step in a process. And uh, this is not over. I assure you, we're going to have another news conference, but it may take a year or two, but it'll be a different news conference. We'll let discussing different issues Don't go different, down, please. and a different result. Hey, Bridget, can you, how do you feel, Bridget? Can you tell us? Something? No, Bridget, Bridget's not right now. We have to get home to family. There's issues we have to take on a first level basis. This is obviously very important in our life, but there's primary issues that have to be concerned about. We have four children that we have to be concerned How about. How long? I am innocent of these charges, and I am very, very looking forward to this appeal. I do want to thank my family, my dad and June and Fran and all the people who have stood by me and lifted me up and supported me throughout the course of this time. And now we're going to move on to the next step, and I'm sure we will be seeing all of you uh, between now and then. Thank you all very, very much. We believe that the evidence in this case more than adequately proved beyond a reasonable doubt that these two defendants were guilty of the crimes with which they were charged. Um, and that, for us, is a just result. In this particular case, we concluded that there were three people who should, who, uh, for, who, who, for whom prosecution was warranted based on the evidence we had at the time. Um, the, the, the public, the members of the media, and there are dozens of you here who are sat through the trial, can reach your own conclusions about what that evidence showed. The only thing I will say is that there was evidence that David Wildstein provided that, that the governor was told about the lane closures on September 11th of 2013. He did not say anything beyond what you heard in the courtroom.